Hey guys, welcome back to Keith's Customs. Today we're going to be working on the lowrider again. We got in a part uh, that's going to be functional and kind of for safety. It's a uh, crash bar for the front end. So we're going to unbox this baby and get her on the bike. So, let's get going. All right, so we got this crash bar. Uh, from JP Cycles. Let's get her unboxed. Paper. Oh, guys. Here we go. This out of here. Go. All right. So here it is. I went through. I, I went for. You know, I'm going for that black and chrome look. So I decided to get the cr the crash bar in black. So let's unwrap this thing. Here's some hardware. Tight around there. Tied on there pretty good. Okay. Oh, there we go. A little bit colder today today in Wisconsin. Um, not quite as warm as last week, but okay, there's our instructions and in hardware, I think. Let's get a piece of piece of that paper. Oh, so is this card. Here we go. Lay this down here. So when we open up, it doesn't get scratched. Uh, perfect. All right. Okay. Now we get her. Get her unpackaged. And normally I just throw the instructions out, but sometimes they can be important. Some hardware. There we go. And today, let's see what tools we need today. Ooh, we got a sticker. Cobra sticker. That's gonna go on there. Okay. So see what we got. All right, we got one freeway bar. We got two bolts, three eighths, sixteenths, one by one inch, two round spacers. Look at that, we got two of them. We got, okay, here's, here's the two button head, three eighths, sixteen by one inch. One, looks like one square spacer, okay. One bolt, uh, 5 sixteenths, 18 by one inch. And we've got a one nine lock, 5 sixteenths, 18 nut, and a washer. Flat, 5 sixteenths flat washer. Okay, all the hardware is there. Okay. Remove any accessories that may prohibit the installation of the new freeway bar. Okay, I don't think we have any that are gonna. Right, like that. Okay, oh yeah, tools. Let's see what we're gonna need here. Looks like a, uh, an Allen, Allen head. 
730 seconds Allen head. Right there with the ratchet. And then we're also going to need one half combination wrench for the nylon nylock nut. Okay. So, got our crash bar. Get this out of the bubble wrap. Oh yeah. You know, I, I always, I always like popping these as a kid. I still like doing it. <laughs> All right, let's stop fooling around and get this on the bike. Help protect the bike from damage. Oh, look at that. Huh? It's gonna help protect the bike from damage and uh, you can also mount, I'm probably gonna mount some, some driving lights on, on the top here. Give the give the bike more more visibility okay so let's uh let's do a test it there's some plastic here lay down let's go lay down here just in case So, let's do a trial fit here. Be very careful of your fender. It's gonna bolt on the bottom there. It's gonna bolt right there. Just like that. Careful of the paint job. Okay. Right here. You gotta have to take this little uh, they got little caps in here. You have to get that out. we have to get that out of there. So but this is gonna be mounting right here with those three eighths one inch bolts. And then it's gonna be mounting up here, so we gotta take this out. And then that upper mount's gonna go right there. So, let's get this out of here. I would think a good way to get those out of there would be a pick. A pick might work like a dental, dental style pick. Ah, ah, okay. Of course, you don't want to be using this on your teeth after you've worked on the bike. Yeah. Okay. So we get our little plug out of there. Now we're just going to take a little WD-40. And just a little shot in those holes there. Okay. 
shot a WD-40 in there. Finish that up. Stupid stink bugs. It gets warmer, I get those stink bugs that come out. I hate them things. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that. Now we've got to take off this mount up here. Which is probably going to be the horn mount. I'm guessing. horn mounts on there so that's the stock bolt for that do not fully tighten so you don't want to fully tighten anything right now yet once you get it you just want to get it loose on there just get it loosely mounted okay so Ah, that's what those round spacers are for. Okay. The round spacers right here that came with the bar are going to mount in between the frame and the bar on the bottom. So you put those in there and put your bolt through. All right, so we want this up in here like this. That square spacer. The horn's gonna go behind it. Put our bar through here. Let's get our bolt. Put the bolt through the spacer. horn back up in there. If you have another person, it might be a, a good two-person job. Uh, getting this bolt started is a little bit difficult. I know what we forgot. Loctite. Okay. So let's see if we can get some Loctite in there. Oh, no, no. No, we don't need any Loctite in there because we got the locking nylock nut. But we will need... Loctite on the bottom screws here to go in the frame. Okay. Whew. Whew. All right. So let's get this going here. Let's get our uh, 730 seconds Allen head. That's not it. Probably going to be 3 sixteenths, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay.
So we've got that through there. You just want to hand tighten it. Just get it not, you know, just snug. Don't uh, tighten it down all the way. All right, so we get our, let's get the bottom in position here now. We take our uh, round spacers, came with the kit. And we have our two bolts uh, that go into the frame. Let me get these up in here. Now these we will be putting some Loctite on, okay? So, we need our Loctite. Put some Loctite on there. Woo! Okay. There we go. It's a nice dollop. We'll put our washer in between. that loose I guess that's why I'm gonna keep that loose so you can get the get it started you want to make sure you don't cross thread it take our ratchet Do, uh, repeat that on the other side. <clears throat> Don't forget your Loctite. And at this point, you can tighten it up once we get that, all the bolts in there and, and you can tighten it down. Tighten this bolt up here by the horn mount. Okay, so I'll get this started. I'm gonna get my hands up in there. Hmm. <laughs> Not a lot of room. <laughs> You're able to get the quarter inch ratchet with the ha uh, half inch socket. In there. So now we'll snug that up. There we go. Ah, that's nice, huh? And the installation is complete. Again, I mean, it looks nice. And it's also functional. You know, if the bike falls over, it's gonna fall on this and not hurt the, the main part of your bike. Uh, you can also mount lights on it, which I'm going to. I'm going to mount lights right here. So extra driving lights. And plus safety. You know, if you uh, somebody hits you or something, uh, they're going to hit this before they hit your leg. So a little bit of protection, a little bit of functionality. And it looks good. So that wasn't too bad. 
All right. Well, I'm gonna get some lunch. Ooh, I'm gonna get some lunch here. Uh, got some other stuff. Oh, I'll show you guys this. I put in uh, this. This is pretty straightforward. I went with a new uh, derby cover. Uh, Harley Davidson Motor Company derby. It had the 103 on there, but I, I kind of like this. This kind of matches what I'm going with. I've got it on the gas tank. You can remember the gas tank. Uh, cap and I've also got that on my uh, axle covers so I thought uh, I'll go with that on the derby cover pretty nice uh, just take these out you want to have the bike straight though because otherwise the oil is going to can't have it on the kicks on the on the the kickstand because uh, the oil will run out all over so you want to make sure you got the bike on the jack, make sure it's level. And then you can take these five bolts out. I put a new gasket on there. Um, seems like it's a little bit better than the original gasket. We'll see. And then you uh, put them in, and you want to torque these in a certain order. Kind of like you're putting on lug nuts. You know, you want to start torquing here, move over to here, here, here and here and you want to torque it down uh, between 15 and 20 inch pounds not foot inch pounds so I think it looks pretty good so I did that and uh, we got a couple other things we're gonna do on here I gotta get the bags mounted for, uh, uh, yet that's gonna be in the next video um, get the bags mounted to the easy brackets so we can get that together. So that'll do it for today. Uh, if you see what you like, uh, and please subscribe and like the video. Helps helps support the channel. Uh, and at all, as always, have a good one.